Luke chapter 15. Now all the publicans and sinners were drawing near to him to hear him, and both the parishim and the scribes murmured, saying, This man receiveth sinners and eateth with them. And he spoke to them this parable, saying, What man of you, having a hundred sheep, and having lost one of them, doth not leave the ninety and nine in the wilderness, and go after that which is lost, until he find it? And when he hath found it, he layeth it on his shoulders, rejoicing. And when he cometh home, he calleth together his friends and his neighbours, saying to them, Rejoice with me, for I have found my sheep which was lost. I say to you that even so there shall be joy in the sky over one sinner repenting, more than over ninety and nine righteous persons who need no repentance. Or what woman having ten drachmas of silver, if she lose one drachma, doth not light a lamp, and sweep the house, and seek diligently until she find it? And when she hath found it, she calleth together her friends and neighbours, saying, Rejoice with me, for I have found the drachma which I had lost. Even so I say to you, there is joy in the presence of the messengers of the God over one sinner repenting. And he said, A certain man had two sons. And the younger of them said to his father, Father, give me the portion of thy substance that falleth to me. And he divided to, him, divided to them his living. And not many days after, the younger son gathered all together and took his journey into a far country. And there he wasted his substance with riotous living. And when he had spent all, there arose a mighty famine in that country, and he began to be in lack. And he went and joined himself to one of the citizens of that country, and he sent him into the fields to feed swine. And he was desiring to become full from the carob pods that the swine did eat, and no man gave to him. But when he came to himself, he said, How many hired servants of my father's have bread enough and to spare, and I perish here with hunger? I will arise and go to my father, and will say to him, Father, I have sinned against the sky, and in thy sight I am no more worthy to be called thy son. Make me as one of thy hired servants. And he arose and came to his father, but while he was yet afar off, his father saw him and was moved with compassion, and ran and fell on his neck and kissed him. And the son said to him, Father, I have sinned against the sky, and in thy sight I am no more worthy to be called thy son. But the father said to his bondservants, Bring forth quickly the best robe, and put it on him, and put a ring on his hand, and shoes on his feet, and bring the fatted calf, and kill it, and let us eat and make merry. For this my son was dead, and is alive again. He was lost and is found. And they began to make merry. Now his older son was in the field, and as he came and drew near to the house, he heard music and, and dancing. And he called to him one of the servants, and inquired what these things might be. And he said to him, the, Thy brother is come, and thy father hath killed the fatted calf, because he hath received him safe and sound. But he was angry and would not go in. And his father came out, and entreated him. But he answered and said to his father, Lo, these many years do I serve thee, and I never transgressed a command of thine. And yet thou never gavest me a goatling, that I might make merry with my friends. But when this thy son came, who hath devoured thy living with harlots, thou killedst for him the fatted calf. And he said to him, Son, thou art ever with me, and all that is mine is thine. But it was meet to make merry and be glad, for this thy brother was dead and is alive again, and was lost and is found.